one is always victorious and one who watches over all of us. Uh, I want to give him thanks today. I want to greet our wonderful pastor in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and his wife, Lady Reynolds, and all the wonderful saints of the house of God. Let us all lift our hands one more time before we do anything else and give him thanks. He deserves our praise. He deserves our worship. He deserves the adoration. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Once I want to say, there is none like you. No one else can touch my heart the way that you do. I could search you all eternity long and find that there is none like you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, let us worship Him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, King of kings and Lord of lords. Praise God. I have here the book in the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 2 says of the man of God and the people of God in, in captivity in Babylon. And uh, the king had a dream. And he could not remember what the dream was. So he called for his wise men, he called for the Chaldeans, and he called for those of familiar spirits and those of and the ungodly those who serve the God that is not Daniel's God and he called for all of them to tell him the dream and somehow they could not and then now their life came at stake Daniel was included in the wise men but there was something about Daniel and uh, Daniel spoke to the king Nebuchadnezzar about the reason for the hasty treaty that the wise men would die if they could not come up with the answer. So Daniel requested of him some time. And Daniel called his friends and they went in prayer and they prayed. Somebody said, I know what prayer can do. I know what prayer can do. After a while, he came up with the answer. And here he is before the king. He said, as for thee, in Daniel chapter 2, and um, verse 29 going down. As for thee, O king, my thoughts came into thy mind upon thy bed. What should come to pass hereafter? And he that revealed secrets make it known to thee what shall come to pass. But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any living. But for their sake that shall make known the interpretation of to the king and that thou mightest know the thoughts of thine heart, of thy heart. Thou, O king, sawest and behold a great image. That great image whose brightness was excellent stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This image head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thigh of brass, his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet 
and that were that were of iron and clay and break them in pieces then was the iron the clay the brass the silver and the gold broken in pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer stretching floor and the wind carried them away that no place was found for them and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth this is the dream and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king thou o king art the king of kings for the god of heaven hath given thee a kingdom power and strength and glory and wheresoever the children of men dwell the beast of the field and the fowls of the heaven hath he given into thine hand and hath made thee ruler over them all thou art the head of gold and after thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee and another third kingdom of brass which shall bear rule over all the earth and the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron for as much as iron break it in pieces and subdue all things and as iron that breaketh all these shall it break in pieces and bruise and whereas thou sawest the feet and the toes part of potter's clay and part of iron the kingdom shall not shall be divided the kingdom shall be divided but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with mary clay and as the toes of their feet were part